Hello everyone, come back to a new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a member backup command since it was requested by multiple people in the Discord server. And I'll be hiding a Discord Nitro uh, code in this uh, video, somewhere in the video. So make sure to watch till the end and if you're the first to get it, you claim it. Not because you're not the first viewer, that means you didn't claim it, because it's hidden, it's not just clear in the video. So, without further ado, let's hop into the video. So it's been too long since I've made like coding videos and I'm getting back to it, okay? Like, I'm getting back to it. I need your support, the channel is literally dying. So, um, yeah, please just interact with this video. So, let's first go to the website, the public folder. Okay, we're gonna just change a couple of stuff here. Here we're gonna... Not here. In Logan, we got to add here. In goods. Dot join. Okay. So we're adding the scopes. A gold dot join scope. So we can make the bot actually like make members or users join uh, servers. Going to call back. Doing the same thing over here. Goods. Oops. Goods dot join all right that's it so now closing the website folder and going to the model folder and creating a new file let's call it um member backup dot js let's do like this require Alright, so getting back to coding again, it's been a while actually, I don't remember everything. Now to the information uh, folder, here into the backup.js. Uh, it's made as a normal command, however, you can make it into a slash command by just changing message to interaction and the other required thing depending on how your handler work. Okay. So, um, I'm going to explain the code, I'm not going to rewrite it because it's kind of too long. So, let me explain. First of all, we're checking if there is a first argument. What is a first argument? If I did like that, command, this is the first argument, which is args 0, okay? And so on, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, I'm going to do like that. Good. Now, I'm going to check if the first argument is create. So, if it's create, I'm going to just create a, a random backup ID using this. So, let's say we're going to have like that as example. That is our uh, ID. Okay. And then, um, we're going to just get all the members in the server using cache, okay? So, people should interact with the bot at least once. Um, okay. So now I'm going to filter all the bots in the members because once you get all the members, you actually get the bots with it. So I'm going to remove the bots from it. And then, we're going to map it and return a user ID, the person's role, and not including the every other role, okay, and the set of it, it is gonna return like an array of IDs for the role, and um, in the nickname, if, it should, uh, if there is a nickname, and if it's not, as you can see, it says no. So, yeah. And by the way, shout out for um, being intelligent, it's that my server for making this because I was actually too busy and not having the motivation to actually code 
So he made it and told me to record it since he only wanted it. So uh, here basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna update the schema uh, which has the gold ID. Okay, by setting the backup ID uh, to the one randomly generated here and by putting the members in it. Alright, and saying here using upset true that if it doesn't exist, make a new one instead of making like, uh, instead of checking if it exists and then if not, just create a new one and then if else, just update it, just add upset true and that's it. So now we're going to be checking for any errors, if there is an error, we're going to say member backup create error and then we're going to put an error here. You can use show actually to make this red if you want to, but yeah, I can't be asked to be honest. Anyways, uh, um, and we're going to return a message, so no, uh, this is not going to run basically, I'm going to basically just return an error occurred while creating the backup. And you might not want to provide the error, okay, because not everyone understands code, so yeah. And um, now we're gonna just, uh, if it, everything works, if there is no error, okay, we're gonna return the backup created with the ID that is randomly generated and is gonna say how many members actually authorized. Um, Actually, no, it's not authorized. How many members in the server? Okay, but uh, the thing here is from the cache. So basically, if I try to create it right now, let me show you. Actually, let me, let me not show you now. Let me show you after I explain the code, okay? So, um, let's go on and continue. Basically now, if uh, the first argument is restore and it's not create, we want to check for the second argument, if it exists or not. So if it doesn't exist, we're going to return uh, this message saying that they have to provide a backup ID so they can actually uh, like backup the members. And then we're going to uh, check for the backup ID provided by them in the database. So we're going to basically check if it, do if it exists or not. So if it doesn't exist, we're going to return backup not found. And of course, all of these messages, you can customize it by making like embassy and more stuff, like change the message, make an like fancy embed if you want, all of that. Anyways, now if the backup exists, we want to get all the members from the array that we have in the data. Okay, and now uh, we're going to loop through all the members but we're gonna first need to do something which is basically creating an anti array to put all the people who didn't authenticate or all the people who um, removed their authentications it's really easy to remove it by the way so just go to your settings integration I guess something like that and we're gonna remove it I don't actually I guess connections no it's integration I, I don't actually remember but it's that easy, just two clicks. So yeah. Now, um, we're gonna loop through all um, the members. So now we're getting the, f the M, which is the third, like, X uh, in the array of members. Okay, let's say X, okay. Um, and then we're gonna check if there is data. If not, Push to unsuccessful, return, check for the next member. If there is no refresh token or access token, same thing, push to unsuccessful, return to the member loop, continue and go on. Hey, today's video is sponsored by Salad. Salad is a compute sharing community composed of thousands of gamers all around the world. They've otherwise known as Salad Chefs. Share all the resources from the personal computer in exchange for games, gift cards, hardware, and more epic loot from the Salad storefront. You can earn up to $50 a month. But if you use promo code ULTRAX, all caps, while creating your account, you'll get a double earn rate from Salad. You can download Salad by the first link in the description down below.
but don't tell anyone, that's where I got the Nitro Hayden in this video from. If you're curious about if Salad can damage your computer, then don't worry, because it won't. They're trusted partners with Discord and featured on Business Insider. They've got 4.4 Trust Core on Trustpilot. So what are you waiting for? Install Salad today and enjoy your gifts. Now um, we're gonna check if uh, the login has actually expired or not. So if it did, we're gonna use the refresh token to refresh it. And that's how, pretty easy. I explained that in, into another video. And we're gonna basically just update data from the database. Um, so, um, yeah, we have an, the new access token, refresh token, and expires when. So, now we will try, um, and we will put like try and catch. So, if there is any errors, we can console.log it. Okay. And you may want to also return like. Um, actually, don't want to return anything because it's in a loop. So it's going to send multiple messages if there is multiple errors. So you rather keep it here. Um, so we will show. Uh, we will now try uh, the member and. Uh, this. So we will now just add the members to the server. We will need the access token, the bots token, the guild ID that they're, they're going to be added to and the user ID which is the person you want to add basically. Okay, here is notes, you can read them later after the video or whatever. So this is basically, you can keep this, okay, you can keep it, but you need to understand something. The bot should have like a high role, like a really high role, so it can be above all the roles. So when you back up people, he can actually add the role and their nicknames. Okay. Else, just do it like that. Okay. Because the thing is, um, you might you might make this bot like public, and not everyone will understand that you should put the bot's role above. So, if it's private, just put it above and do like that, as easy as that, else, just keep it like that, no issue, okay? Because like this, when you put it like that, it's actually recovering their roles, their nickname, and yeah, that's it, Them, like, the number itself. So, now that was for testing, let me remove that. Now we're just checking if there is any um, uh, any unsuccessful uh, authorization okay so if yes we're going to say how many on how many got added okay else we're going to say we successfully added all the members all right so uh, let's now uh, and, and of course, if there is no orgs, it's going to just return this. So let's now take a look at how this works. No dot. And as I mentioned before, it's in the cache. So let me explain why you should at least interact with the bot once. So now, look, if I try to create a backup, okay, backup, create. You see, it only says one member, which is me, okay? Because I'm the only one who used the bot after it got online, and I am the cache. So what I'm gonna do, go to my alt here, send a message, or interact with the bot, okay? Like, I'm gonna send a message here, I'm gonna just try to interact with the bot. Okay. Now, if I try to do backup create, again, it's gonna say two members, see? That's a new code. By the way, if you don't want people to like abuse this hacks in any way, you can just delete the code, okay? Delete the backup data after it's being used. Like, it got used once, that's it, you cannot use it again. And it's not really that hard to do that. So basically, uh, all you have to do is just uh, like 
data dot or oh, like whatever the data is actually it's not data schema dot delete I guess it's delete not delete one right okay let's just go with delete one okay um I'm basically going to put here build ID and put the code ID or actually put the code not the code ID put the backup ID Alright, so um, getting this. Now, what happens uh, now if I try to back up? No one will be backed up, sadly. Because, yeah, we need to first authorize here Logan. Okay, once you click on Logan here, you will be redirected to this place. Okay, and as you can see, it says join service for you. Now, if you click on authorize now, the bot will be able to make you join other servers. Now I click on authorize. Good, that's it. That's how you authorize. Just if you want people to uh, authorize, just give them the link, tell them Logan. That's it's really that easy. Now, if I kicked my alt, okay, let me kick my alt. Good, it's not in the server anymore. Now let me do backup. Restore. Hit the ID. Uh, it says two. For some reasons. But anyways, it backed up actually the the number, which is weird. Though. So as you can see, I got added again. Look. Um. Let's check why this is actually say that. So. I guess it didn't actually add them into the unsuccessful part. I guess it just skipped on them uh, here. But that's not like a big deal, you know? It's okay. So, um, yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you find the, the Nitro code, please hit me up on Discord telling me that you got it. So yeah, don't forget to like and to subscribe and leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it and ciao.